Alley is a community platform that helps creators connect with like-minded people and develop lifetime meaningful relationships. I'm Jason Saltzman, the CEO and founder of Alley. My experience with startups over the past 15 years has given me the unique opportunity to connect with the brightest founders in the world. One thing always remains constant, the unbelievable knowledge we get from each other by sharing our stories. Join us while we learn from founders what it is really like to start a business, the hurdles they have overcome, and the lessons they've learned along the way. This is Resilience. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Resilience. And we are here with an amazing founder of a great company, and we're here to tell the truth and what it's really like to grow a business. So I love to start. Why don't you introduce yourself real sure. quick so we know sure. who we're talking to? Uh, my name is Yuni Samashima. I'm the CEO of Chicory. Um, we're a technology company based here in New York City. We create media, so advertising and e-commerce solutions specifically for the grocery industry. Um, so cool. back in 2013, actually, we launched with a kind of simple B2C concept, making recipes shoppable, right? So we partner with existing recipe sites, we partner with retailers, and we basically create this connection. Uh, mm. Seamless user experience to get the ingredients to recipes delivered. Uh, but okay. since then, we've launched a whole suite of kind of media solutions and other products that help um, CPG companies, food brands reach consumers, retailers reach consumers, uh, those kinds of things. So uh, how, how long have you been doing this for? Since 2013. Okay, yeah. all right, so it's a minute. Yeah. You've been doing it for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, like, how did you come up with the idea? Like, why? Like, why this business? Like, what, what like, came to you and was like, this is what I want to do? Yeah, so my co-founder and I actually started the company back when we were seniors uh, in college. Okay. Up at Colgate University. Okay. Um, upstate New York. Um, we both like cooking. We both look at recipes. Okay. And one of the things we realize is, you know, I grew up in an area where we've had online grocery, like grocery delivery for a while. Yeah. Um, so we kind of looked at recipes. They're extremely popular, well-trafficked sites. We said, why don't we make it easy to actually get the ingredients to recipes delivered? And it was kind yeah. of, we looked at the market, no one else yeah. was doing it, and we said, Fuck it, let's do it. So that's what we like to call the good stuff. That's what you do. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about what you had to do to get to where you are today. Yeah. So I love to ask the question, what is the worst shit that's happened to you in your journey that you can kind of pick apart and say, like, this was, like, a horrible moment? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are lots of moments, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's why we're here. Yep. There's kind of an untold story behind every successful company. Um, one of our worst moments was probably back in 2016, we were fundraising. Um, we are doing kind of a bridge round. We thought we had 70% of our round kind of committed, all done. Uh, 2017. 2016. 2016, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, I was feeling good. You know, we had, we had been hitting our kind of uh, user numbers, those kinds of things. And uh, there was one week when two investors came to us. One said, hey, um, our fund's not closing, mm. so we can't, you know, mm. join this a, a venture? It was yeah. institutional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they didn't were, close their side of funding. Exactly. So and they're so like, like, peace out. Yeah, so they're like, sorry, we can't do this. And yeah. then another investor come to us maybe two days later who was yeah. like, hey, you know, we never fully committed to this, you know, those kinds of things. And it was just like... Our entire run it's sort gone. of like what people don't understand when it rains it pours there's a reason why that's such a popular saying yeah. and this is the case right so you had how much of that made up comprised of your funding 90%. wow yeah so it was just like in one well, week in one week and you were like days. rock and rolled and ready to go yeah you have employees you got to make payroll yeah, we, were, we had maybe six people at that point yeah um, and so yeah we were so that happens right yeah and the next three months are probably the most stressful three months of my entire life um, Talk about it. And yeah, so, you know, we were at the worst of it, we were probably 30 days away from just out of money, no cash in the bank. Yeah. Um, but the way that we ended up getting out of it, right? Because yeah. at the time, you know, it was this weird transition between B2C startups being extremely hot, like Twitter, Snapchat. Sure. Like, Don't monetize, get as many users. Yeah. That's kind of where we initially raised our funding. And then we were going to this point when, especially in New York, it was like revenue. Yeah, B2B revenue. Yeah. Like, that's kind of important. Yep. Um, and so kind of the lesson that I ended up learning, so the way we ended up raising our funding was uh, one of the investors that I was talking to said, hey, if you can get, you, if you can close, you know, a $100,000 deal, we're in for 100000 right? We're going to match that. And I was like, okay, like that's maybe promising. 
right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, well, actually, it gave you a goal. Yeah. It gave you a tangible goal, right? right. It's good to have that. Right. Because you're like, all right, this makes sense. Right, mm -hmm. like if, if I can get to this goal, then I'll get something out of it. Totally, because a lot of people fly blind up until the point, so that had to be kind of comforting. A little, in a way. Obviously, a way, you got to right? get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, holy yeah. shit, how do I get a hundred thousand dollar deal? Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. and you know, hundred thousand dollars, kind of a sliver of the round, mm -hmm. but it was still, you know, something to get to. Yeah. And so behind the scenes, though, my employees, I guess my teammates, yeah. were hustling alongside of me. You know, yeah. as a founder, as a CEO, you're out there, you're fundraising, yeah. especially when you're when you need funding. Yeah. Right? You're out there, you're fundraising and it feels lonely. Yeah. Right. It feels like you're just trying to, you know, for me it felt like the world. I was carrying the entire company on my back. Yep. You know, if I didn't get this funding, you know, all of these people lose their jobs. Yep. Yep. Um but in the background, you know, they were all working equally as hard. Yeah. You know, trying to close those deals. Like, you know, everyone from you know, our most junior people to our, you know, VPs. Yeah. Um, just hustling their ass off. And we ended up closing that $100,000 deal. We closed more than that. And then we ended up closing the round altogether. And um, it seems like it, it seems like that actually validated the business too. Absolutely. It, it sort of put your back up against the wall. And it's something like, I like to say, like some of the most difficult times teach us the biggest lessons, right? Yeah. And like, this is what, this is what we're talking about here. I think the lesson that we learned from that, I mean, we closed this $100,000 deal, got some funding. I think a lot of entrepreneurs, um, especially in the startup world, you know, it's glamorized, like you were saying. Yep. It's like raise funding, yep. you know, do your seed, series A, B, C, exit. You know, that's kind of the world, right? But I think the biggest lesson is start a business. Yeah. You know, figure out how to run a business. And yeah. I think that's not what's being taught, right? Yeah. It's how do you fundraise? Right. How do you do all these things? Yep. It's like learn how to build a business. Make money. Exactly, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, Survive. Money. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not many people think like that. And that's, yeah. that's, that's a huge lesson. Yeah. So just to take that out um, is so important. So Thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, and really, it's very educational. So really, thank you so much. Awesome. And Thanks thank so you guys again. Uh, we're going to be back with some more stories just like this one. This is real. This is reality. This is what it's like to build a business.